Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children, Let My People Go, the path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And our topic today is Disciples. The Lord is calling for the elders right now. And the elders will build the dwelling places of Zion. And in the dwelling places of Zion, the disciples will be trained and empowered and will then go out into the neighborhoods, into the nations, and will gather in the harvest of the ages. So you be can become either an elder and build your own dwelling place of Zion in your home or in your neighborhood, or you can become a disciple and join a dwelling place of Zion to get empowered and trained. This is the call of the Lord. The Lord will call you into love, unity and support, to come together, to have everything in one accord, in the same way as it was in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 2, where they come together, support one another, take love meals together, all this will be done in the dwelling places of Zion. So now you have the opportunity either to get trained by us and certified to be an elder for the dwelling place of Zion and to open one and we will assist you no matter in which country or on which continent you are. Just follow the link in the pinned comment about the training and certificate for becoming an elder and to establish a dwelling place of Zion. It is so eventbrite. You can register. We will start on the 15th of December or you can look for a dwelling place of Zion in your era, in your area, and then can join them and become a disciple. You will be trained and empowered by the elders who will run this dwelling place, and they will then send you out into the neighborhoods to look for the needy, the nameless, the faceless, and be an example of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and an example of his ways and his action and his speech and be an example and a true copy of Jesus Christ into your neighborhoods so that you will bring many people to righteousness through example and not by shouting from the rooftops but through example not through Bible verses also they are involved and not through a church also the people can come from the church to, the, to join but through a dwelling place of Zion what is a home church or a home assembly of love and righteousness. And you will be that example. And to be that example and to be the disciple of Jesus Christ, you will be infilled, infilled with his power, the knowledge and the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So, so, so that you can be a true copy of Jesus walking on earth. You will be the bride, the bride of Christ, because the bride will be very close to the bridegroom and they will come into a union. They will bond together. And that is exactly what will happen with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and all the disciples that is calling forth for the great harvesting work. And if you are a disciple, you are also the bride of Christ. You will be taken to a new level of understanding and wisdom. You will receive the Holy Spirit and the saints and the angels will come and help you. And you will be protected by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ day and night. By day with a, with a cloud and smoke and by night with a flaming fire so that nothing can harm you. You will escape all those things that will come onto this earth. You will come out of the world and out of Babylon. You will have nothing to do anymore with the beast system. You will have nothing to do anymore with the antichrist system or the false prophet system. You will stand separated, be protected by the Lord and Savior, and you will be worthy to escape all these things that will come onto the world. So make a choice now. Either you want to become an elder and establish your own dwelling place of Zion in your house, and then be trained through us, Triple Grace. We have a seminar for that. Just look in the first pin comment. Or you want to be a disciple and be trained by some elders who have established a dwelling place in your area. But make up your choice. You cannot stand in the world 
and in heaven at the same time. You have to choose right now whom you want to serve, either the world or our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and our beloved Father, Abba Father. So what do you want to do? If you have a question and you cannot decide right now, then send us an email to triplegrace55 at gmail.com and we might help you in your decision process. But you must decide right now because the time is now. The dwelling places of Zion will be established right now. And we will bring these dwelling places to all the nations, to all the continents, and hopefully to all towns, so that everywhere people can make a decision and can join them, or establish some of them. Please have a look at a video that I will link in the, in the pinned comment. A video from our sister Amanda Grace. She is describing that the rose, what is our symbol, the symbol of triple grace, that the rose now will come forth and will blossom in all the nations. And this rose will be covered. And because it is covered and protected by the Lord, it will even dwell in the harshest environment. It's a very important video. Please have a look at this. I will put the link in the first pink comment so that you can watch it. And I will also put in the comments a transcription of the message so that you can read it and copy and use it for yourself, your friends and families. The time of the blossoming of the rose, the time of the rose of triple grace is now coming. We are going forward into the nation and you have to decide now what you want to do. Remain in the world and do not serve the Lord or come out of the world, become an elder or a disciple and serve him. Become his bride and be accounted worthy to escape all these things that will come onto the world. You escape them because you are not part of the world anymore and because you are covered and protected by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So I hope you enjoyed this topic and we will continue tomorrow on the same line. Please watch that video for Amanda Grace to have an understanding that the rose now will come forth and will be protected by God. Nothing will harm you and you will blossom wherever you are. The dwelling places of Zion, the rose of Sharon will come forth. Be part of it. This is your calling now. This is your destiny. This is your purpose on earth. Take part, follow the link, sign up for the Eventbrite, become an elder, get a certificate, start your own dwelling place of Zion, and then gather the disciples together. And all of you then, in unity, will bring in the harvest of the ages and bring in the multitude closed and white to the sixth seal so that all can then be raptured into paradise. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your understanding. Thank you for your support, for all these people who donate to this channel, for all the people who support our work, for all these people who have a compassionate heart for the children that we support in our mission to Cambodia, for all the people who are generous. I love you all so dearly, and so does the Lord Jesus Christ and our Father, Jehovah Jireh, the Provider. He, Abba Father, will love you the most. Thank you that you have listened and I hope I will see you again tomorrow. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.